history lesson, right? It's crazy as protesters march through Fort Street Live, Walnut, no even Six and Jefferson. And they say whose streets are streets. Facts. Cause in our reality, Fourth Street used to be owned by African Americans. You know, Chestnut, you know. I just want to give a little history lesson. But it's crazy, we see this in cities. You know, Cincinnati, prime example, OTR. How these people with money, rich white folks, come in, buy the property, up the rent, and make African Americans, black people, move out. It hurt to say that the same thing is happening in Louisville. Why is it that anything that African Americans do or try to do it has to be stripped away it hurt it really hurts it really hurts because you know another history lesson Louisville Kentucky was one of the biggest places to sell slaves just because of the Ohio River. So, if you made it from Louisville over the Ohio River to Indiana or Ohio, it's freedom. So just like in Cincinnati, you know, it, it was an area, once you made it over the Ohio River and you made it to Liberty, you was free. So I just wanna motivate y'all that's protesting, right? I feel it in my soul. I really feel it in my soul. That even, even though we're not getting answers, even though right now we may not like the decisions that people are trying to bring forth on the Breonna Taylor case, <laughs> I want y'all to know, man, God is on our side. It may look ugly, but I want y'all to know, just as slaves crossed that Ohio River and made it to freedom or just how slaves made it to Ohio and Cincinnati and made it to liberty is freedom. Every day we march. Every day we march down Louisville. Like I fell in love with Louisville. I know I can't say it right yet, but I fell in love with Louisville just because I have ties. You know, even my ancestors, slaves, I have ties. And, and, and really, it really, and I, and I hate to say it this way, it really pissed me off because people would say, oh, we're not in the, the air of slavery. But see, you gotta understand the hurt, the mindset. You feel me? And I'm speaking on a, the, the black community, the trauma that even though we're past that, it's still people. It's proven that that has an effect on people's DNA as well. Yeah, it's proven facts. It has an effect on people's DNA. Even though people say, oh, well, that's old. We're not in slavery. It's other ways, man. It's other ways that the racist system. See, that's why people say, let's break down the system. That's why people say defund the cops because it's people that's still in office that still has ties in their DNA that's racist. You no, know, it's people that work in the criminal system, judges, prosecutors, that has so much racist, racism in their heart, so much discrimination in their heart that they look at the skin or they look where somebody come from instead of looking at somebody's character and believing in somebody's future. It's hard to believe in somebody's future if they don't look like you, unless you touched by God. You know what I'm saying? You understand where I'm coming from? So I just want to motivate people. Listen, see, they just don't go out here to Olive Field or Grace and all these. Because um, what's the other part in Kentucky that I'm ready to go to? 
Harlan, Harlan County, is that how you say it? So it's a little girl getting picked on. Harlem County, I'm on my way out there. And um, like I said before, I just wanna, you know, back the little girl and her family, man, and show that they got support, you know? Racism is wrong, discrimination is wrong. And how dare you say slavery is over with? Do you really know your history? Break down. Watch the Amendment 13th. Watch the 13th. What is the Amendment 13th? Break it down. Educate. I love my white allies. I love y'all, man. I love my white allies that march. I even love I even love my racist white allies. Whatever. You feel me? I love y'all. But check this. This has got to be exposed. You may agree with me. You may not agree with me. But at the end of the day, it's not going to stop me. God has put something on my heart. God has put something on my heart. Everybody's going to see. But right now, man, all God is doing... <laughs> All God is doing right now, man. Listen, 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 listen. It's making a platform. Because what I want to see in these racist systems or these racist courtrooms, not every courtroom is racist, but not every. Every white person is not racist, and every black person ain't a thug and a criminal. We gotta break discrimination. Police reported ahead. Keep an eye out for Commissioner Gordon. Facts. Freedom.